Dr. Chris is still with us this morning, and in a minute he's going to be demonstrating just how you examine your breasts for breast cancer. But first, let's get to the truth behind some of the breast cancer headlines, and there are so many, Chris, that we just think that right. we ought to dispel some. First of yes. all, do you, want, do you boys want to just show us your manicures? Because look at this. <laughs> They've both of them been painting their nails in the break. <laughs> Mr. Philip has got his pink nail, you've got your pink nail because... Um, the, well, this is a campaign to raise money for a breast cancer charity called Genesis, and they're a breast cancer prevention charity. There's the only one in the UK, and they've opened a big unit in Manchester, the first in Europe. Only 2% of breast cancer research funds goes to prevention. So they've opened this huge unit, and Lloyd's Pharmacy are going to raise 200,000 for them. One of the ways is that they're selling um, a, a bottle of Rimmel <laughs> nail lacquer for one pound a bottle, and you paint one nail. Now, the reason for that is to signify one in ten women will get breast cancer. Brilliant. Yeah. Now, there we are. Excellent. And you were, uh, you were saying the reason we were laughing when we came out of the break, uh, Chris has said he's been wearing his for, uh, for a week, and, uh, and Fern said, oh, well, well done. She said, that. I'm twist my arm off here. There you go. Uh, <laughs> said, uh, well done. She said, that's, uh, that's stayed, uh, stayed on beautifully. Chipped. And he said, no, 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 I've had to reapply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was terribly chipped this morning. <laughs> so actually, I've come very attached to it. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Really Details right, on that on the uh, website yeah. as well. Yeah, let's get on with some of these headlines, true or false. I'd like to do these first. Anti-cancer pill made of wine, rice and berries. Uh, the drugs will be taken like daily vitamins to protect against tumours in the breast, bowel and prostate. What do you think about that? Uh, I think that's go going to happen. I've, I've seen a lot of research in uh, extracts from fruit and veg um, uh, that have had positive effects on several cancers and I'm going to actually come back to the story later when more research is, uh, will be published. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. And, uh, and the, the, the finding that uh, this was discussed on Monday that could help doctors give more accurate prognosis to patients and target them with more specialist treatments is that they've identified six types of breast cancer. Yeah, yeah. There's a, sort of a whole spectrum of different types of, of breast cancer there now. So uh, with that sort of knowledge, yes, they can, they can give a more accurate forecast, a prognosis of mm -hmm. how the patient going to do and yes tailor make the treatment to that specific type of breast cancer. Is it, oh. is it true that scientists are developing a high-tech bra that detects the first signs of breast cancer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's using microwave technology to detect a slight increase uh, that occurs in a cancerous tumour, uh, a slight rise in temperature and that's going to be available within a couple of years costing no more than your average bra apparently. Very good. Yes. Now the other thing, you've got um, some props here, deodorants, antiperspirants. Uh, there's been a lot in the papers that deodorant might be causing breast cancer mm. because we're right-handed so we might spray longer under the left armpit mm -hmm. because there's a greater incidence of breast cancer in the left breast. Yeah, and also, um, when you, if you divide the breast into four quarters, the upper outer quadrant 60% of breast cancers occur there, whereas only 25% should, statistically. Mm. So scientists think, what's, why? And, you know, is there a link between the aluminium in deodorants or the parabens and other chemical in deodorants, antiperspirants? Because when they've done mastectomies, scientists have actually looked at the breast and found a high concentration of aluminium in the upper outer quadrant. Now, you know, th this is not sort of cast iron proof. Uh, it's, just, it, it's been bandied around for a while uh, and it's not awfully conclusive. But if you were concerned about that, then, you know, to go for uh, a natural type of antiperspirant, there, mm -hmm. there are many sort of uh, organic natural products out there without the chemicals. And remember to wash it off every evening as well, because yes. the build up over a couple of days, if you miss a shower. Yeah, you're yeah, blocking the skin pores yeah. and you might be absorbing more. What well. about bashes to the breast? I mean, that's a, sort of an old wives' tale, but if you get a bash to your breast, but yeah. you're going to get a yeah, tumour there. No, no the, 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 there's no conclusive evidence at all about trauma to the breast causing breast cancer. Good. I mean, the, the, the big thing about breast, breast cancer, of course, it's um, strongly related to the number of periods that you've had in your life. So you're at increased risk if you started your periods early, say, age of 11 or less. If you have a late menopause, 55 or over, you've had more periods, increased risk. If you've not been pregnant, increased risk. If you've had your first pregnancy over the age of 30, increased risk. Um, being overweight, increased risk. Fat intake in your diet increases the risk. Alcohol. And alcohol, yes. Breastfeeding protects? Breastfeeding protects. So, you know, it's good for the baby and it's yes. good for the mother as well. Good. Wearing a tight underwire bra causes breast cancer? No, no, myth.
Good. Not true. Yeah, not true. No. Well, let's get on to examination then, because this is the important thing. We, you're very good, because you demonstrate this very regularly on the mm. show. And there are now new pieces of equipment you can get hold of. Y yes. Uh, again, this is part of the campaign that Lloyds are doing. This is called the Breast Sense Glove. Oh. Now, it's to, to help women to examine their breasts um, more carefully. Ideally, you should examine your breast uh, when lying in, in the bath. Now, this is the glove being used by a, a model this morning. And what, what it helps that it's filled with gel on one side yeah. and it actually helps the fingers to slide over the skin you know quite smoothly yeah. so and it encourages you to use the pad of the fingers not the tips right the pads of the fingers and by doing this you can actually press down and detect uh, a lump that you may not be able to detect yourself without oh. the glove and of course it focuses you on to a routine where you've got this a that's calendar a comes idea, with it so you oh, keep a record that's good. right and uh, there's a dvd explaining how to use it and again money from that goes to the genesis you know charity as well uh, and it, it you know women need to know how to examine the breast and it's very hard to learn from leaflets so a dvd comes mm. shows you how to do a breast examination mm. and uh, this just sort of encourages you you know details of uh, obviously everything that we talk about on uh, on our website now you have got a, a self-examination VT here. Yes, yes. Yeah. We've, we've shown these before uh, and people have written into us afterwards and said my god thank goodness I saw that I and mean, yeah. it's actually probably saved my life. Yes. Oh yes. So it's, it's so important that you uh, that if you've never checked yourself that you do check yourself and uh, and this is Dr. Chris's advice. Uh, put your arms by your side and look for any change in size, shape or outline and compare one breast to the other. Look for any dimpling or puckering of the skin. Then look at the nipple. Has it turned inwards? Is there any discharge or flaky skin or a rash around the nipple? Then raise your arms above your head and repeat the same procedure. Then lean forward so your breasts are hanging down and again repeat the procedure once more. Then ideally you should lie down and using the pads of your fingers feel for lumps starting at the nipple and moving in small circular movements until you have covered the whole breast and then move into the armpit feeling for any lumps there and finally feel for any lumps just above your collarbone. Brilliant. Yeah, very important to go into the armpit because the breast has tissue going into the armpit and of course that's where glands swell and glands can swell above the collarbone as well. So, and think of the nipple, don't ignore the nipple oh. and uh, look for puckering and dimpling. People are obsessed with feeling, that's fine, your breasts are aware then of how the breasts feel and they vary through the month. Mm. But think about puckering, dimpling, nipple and lumps elsewhere. And don't forget that some of us are lumpier than others, so if you get used to where your lumps are, then you know what's normal and what isn't. That's right, yeah. Yes. And usually, you know, breast cancer is not painful, it's not tender, it's usually just a hard, yes. firm lump. Yeah. Yes, good. Thanks, Chris. Chris, thank, thank you, you very much indeed. Now, if you or someone you know has been affected by cancer, then have a look at our website, itv.com slash this morning, for details of helplines and indeed all the equipment and information that Chris has had here this morning.